everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to this week's Friday Sews and check me out, I'm so organised today, I'm filming this on a Thursday, never been heard of. So um, I'm off to the Stitch Festival at the weekend, I've got a really busy day in my diary tomorrow and the last thing I want to be doing is rushing my vlog and rushing to get it uploaded. So I thought, let's be organised, let's film this on Thursday um, so I can get it uploaded and ready for you first thing Friday morning. Um, so this Friday so is where I'm going to talk to you about what I've been doing in my um, sewing room this week and what my plans are for the week ahead. So let's get started. So first of all, what am I wearing? Well, I am wearing the Re Top Knit Top by Style Arc. And it's in this gorgeous cream colour, which has got stains all over it because cream is just a terrible colour for me. Um, but this was um, a pattern that I made as part of the So Confident Confident Capsule Collection Autumn Winter um, dressmaking course. And um, it was just this white, I think, is it a French terry? Yeah, white oh, sweatshirt in, is it? No, it's French terry. White French, uh, cream French terry. And I absolutely love this colour. Cream is not a colour I would ever buy because I do kind of drop stuff down me. I'm a tea drinker, so I tend to spill a lot down me. But I really, really like this colour on me. And since having my colours done, um, this kind of off-white colour is a really good colour for me. And I do feel really nice in it. So I've put this on today. Um, to be honest with you, it's a little bit snug from when I made it before, but I do really want to make this again. And um, yeah, it's something that I will definitely be making again soon. I'm just going to have a look at some fabrics that I've got to make it. But I just love this detail down the front where it's um, basically got this like um, seam line here, a seam line at the back. And then the I love kind of like, it's almost like a bat wing, but not quite. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm wearing and it's such an easy make to make as well. And talking about the CCC dressmaking course, I am a, an ambassador for So Confident, as you probably know if you watch me. And I'm currently promoting this week So Confident's the sewing challenge that they're doing in readiness for the build up to their spring summer 24 dressmaking course. So the challenge is a completely free non-sewing challenge um, all about sewing and it's run over three days. Now it has already started. It started on Monday um, and Jenny goes live Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with three little challenges for you all. Um, the first one was talking about what your self talks around with sewing. The second day was all around um, where you are on your sewing journey and where you want to get to. And Jenny provides you with a free um, guide to um, a scale of where you are and where you want to get to, which is really great. And yesterday was all about creating a vision and a vision board and using Canva and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just a really great community sewing challenge that doesn't cost you anything to join in. If you've obviously you've missed those lives, but the videos are all up on Facebook for you to rewatch and you can still join now. And you have till Sunday at three o'clock to take part and please take part because there's so many prizes there's over a thousand pounds worth of prizes. The top prizes you actually win a place on the ccc course which is worth over 600 pounds you get all your fabrics and patterns and um the tutorials all for it um you can win there's some liberty fabric to win there's um some gift vouchers to win there's a hamper to win from fort and mason there's just loads and loads of prizes and um the other thing is this is open to everybody in the world so if you're i know nearly 50 percent of my viewers are in america and i've got a lot of viewers all over the world and um, you can take part in this jenny does not exclude anybody so you can take part anywhere in the world and you if you win one of the prizes she will send it to you anywhere in the world you know there's no reason if you're sitting there thinking this sounds like a great challenge but i live in australia you can definitely take part so yeah which is fantastic not many not many challenges do that so as i say completely free to sign up all you need to do is click the link in my um notes below and it will take you through to a page where you just put your email address in and then you'll get an email come through from jenny and it'll have all the information on it um so yeah i suggest you definitely take part because it's just so much fun there's quite a few other people involved Tanlin from sewing on the times um taking part ruan's taking part Fove from the sewing bees taking part you've got jen legs taking part there's so many people taking part in this and the feedback's been really really good one of my sewing friends um i kind of 
encouraged quite encouraged forced to take part and she messaged me saying she's so glad that i made her take part because she's really enjoying it and it's really helping to get a sojo back which i think is um something everyone's struggling with a little bit at the moment when we're in that transition into summer so yeah come on join me join me please <laughs> what have i been doing this week well first of all i had an absolute fabulous time on sunday with Becky from What Beck Sews, Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl and also Rachel from Stitched Up. We all met up at the Sewing for Pleasure and it was absolutely wonderful. Oh God, I was on a high probably till Tuesday off the back of that little outing. Now I have done a separate vlog on it so I'm not going to bang on about it here but I'll link it up here so you can go and watch that. It's a little fabric haul and a little bit where I talk about the day. But yeah, absolutely enjoyed it. And if you want to know if I stuck to my budget, then you need to head over and um, check out my blog. Okay, so that's what I did. And then this week's really been around getting ready for my next event, which is the Stitch Festival on Saturday, which again, I'm really, really excited about. I am a little bit worried though, because on Sunday it was so quiet and chilled that I know it's not going to be like that on Saturday. And yeah, I'm a little bit like, oh, now I've tasted a little bit of the chilled out vibe of a Sunday what's it going to be like on Saturday, but there's so many people going, um, I'm looking forward to seeing loads of people that I've not met before in person, um, and again, um, people that I have met before, so it's going to be really great, it's going to be lovely to see the girls from my um, sewing retreat again, so um, yeah, definitely meeting up with those, and I'm sure we're bumping into lots of other people as well, so yeah, that's going to be exciting. So, as you know, I was making the where is my pattern? Well, I decided to make the ME 2016, which is the Nomi pattern by Beauty Jador. And this dress is just fabulous. I've had it for a while. And once I saw Amelia um, raving about this, I was like, right, this is definitely going to be the one that I'm going to make. Now, I'm making it in this fabric, which is the Dip in the Late lake lady mccarroy fabric in the light blue colorway in the lawn now i have already made a garment in this i made the seasons of east dress in the dark colorway the navy colorway in the um oh chloe chambray um so yeah i'm excited to have one in a lawn as well now initially i was going to make the long sleeve long dress one but then two things happened it was going to be a struggle to get it out the fabric um and also I thought maybe the long with the long sleeves will be a bit too much. So I've gone with the long sleeves with the shorter style. So I'm hoping that will look nice. And then hopefully it'll be quite transitional into summer spring as well. Um, this pattern is fab. I know there's a sew along for this. And I did start to watch the sew along. But to be honest with you, the instructions are pretty good. Um, it's really nicely constructed. Um, so yeah, it's uh, great. You just scan this little um, thing here, little QR code, and it takes you through to the sew along. And um, yeah, I think this is this could be a great beginner pattern um, because your hands held so much. Obviously, it has got pockets. It's got a lot of gathering. It's got a facing and it's got an invisible zip. But I think because it holds your hands so much, it would be good for someone who's um, obviously not your first garment that you made, but someone who's like a confident beginner. I think it would be... Um, one that you would be challenging but um would be a now the pattern put me in a size um 16 so 38 bust well actually the measurements put me in a size 16 bust because i'm a 38 bust the waist it puts me in a size 20 and um the hip it would put me in a size 20 as well <laughs> now because it's quite oversized etc and because this pattern only goes to a 16 and there's a one and a half seam allowance in this and i also know that they tend to come up quite big i made the size 16 as my 12 so i made a 12 last week which i think i shared with you i don't actually know where that is oh here it is yeah so i made the 12 in the 16 and it was a it had a, quite a bit of room in it so i decided to size down to the 14 um, because I know that um, I might need to let the seam allowance a little bit out at the waist, but across the bust and everything, it should fit quite well. And also the other thing, the other adjustment that I made was a um, sway back adjustment because as normal, in the back of my, in the back of my um, bodice, I had quite a lot of pooling of fabric here. And I know now 
um, through doing this adjustment that by doing a sway back that pulls it down and um, puts the shoulders in the right position and it just fits much better. <laughs> Um, so I was pretty confident that by sizing down to the 14 and doing the sway back that all would be well. Um, but like anything, I was still a bit nervous, but it has actually worked perfectly. It fits perfectly. I really took my time over it. So I still haven't finished it. Sorry, by the way, I should probably just caveat that. Um, I have done the bodice and put the invisible zip in and done the pockets. I've done basically all of it that's going to take a while. I've still got the... Um, sleeves to put in i have got the other tier of the skirt to put in but the pockets are in and they're gorgeous and i'm really happy with the pattern placement um so yeah the other tier of the dress will just go on here and i'll hem that i've got to put the sleeves in and that is everything actually i'm really happy with the invisible zip it's looking very invisible now the only bit i'm a bit peeved about is this is just a smidgen out these two um seam lines but i mean it's very 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 negligible um but i wasn't going to unpick the zip and i did take my time with this i um actually basted my zip in first just to check the fit and everything and it it fits like a glove it's absolutely perfect fit i'm really really happy with it um so yeah i can't wait to to, to show it you i didn't want to put it on now because obviously it hasn't got the sleeves and i want it to be like quite a big reveal um but yeah i love it i love the um darts at the back it's got two darts here um and yeah i'm just really happy with how it's come together so i'm planning to get that finished off tonight um we should have some sewing time this evening so i'm gonna put the sleeves on do all the gathering and there is a lot of gathering to do um and yeah hopefully have a finished dress for friday for saturday and then the other thing and then the other thing that i have made a uh, try to finish which I, again i think i might finish this weekend is alice's maple cardigan so um i've made this I've done most of this last week, but I hadn't got the collar on. So I've now interfaced and top stitched the um, plackets and put the gorgeous little ribbon on. And then I've put this little Be Yourself label. Um, the only thing I've got to do is just tidy up the um, overlock inside here um, and then just put the buttons on. So I've just got to choose what snaps are going to go on um, with this. Not that she really will wear it done up. There'll be probably more for show. But yeah, that's... Um, next on the list but yeah that's pretty much nearly done and i made her some matching bottoms and um, which she's already started wearing so this would be nice for her to wear as a little little um cohort set now that is the maple cardigan by poppy and jazz it's a great little cardi this is the second one i've made and it really comes together really quickly i think that's it um that's what i've been doing this week plans for next week um obviously i'll be going to the stitch festival on saturday cannot wait um obviously there'll be a fabric haul that i'll put out hopefully on sunday monday um and then next week the plan is to get my so frugal make done because i haven't even started that yet so um i am going to be making the peppermint magazine loungewear set in um some lovely double gauze it's like um a navy blue and a rust colour so that should be a fairly quick sew I do need to cut out the pattern um again because the pattern that I've got is in a much smaller size at the moment so yeah I need to do that um and then I also would really like to start trying to do a twirl of um the the, the, tra the trousers um because yeah I'm really keen to have a go with that cord that I purchased from the sewing for pleasure which if you want to see you need to go check out my um fabric haul vlog usually I the other thing is usually i share with you how much weight i've lost but obviously i'm not going to get weight till tomorrow um i don't know what that's going to be i'm hoping for at least a pound but yeah it's been a little bit tougher this week i don't know why mm, maybe it's uh i don't know i don't know what it is but yeah i'm hoping i don't think i've put any weight on but i'm hoping that you know i've lost a pound so I can go into the Stitch Festival not having to worry too much about what And then the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is I wanted to let you know about a vlogger that I've just been watching. She's called Romy Kate. Um, and she's got she's had a channel for a while, but I think she had a little bit of a break. But I found her this morning and um, yeah, she did a little fabric haul from the Fabric for uh, Sewing for Pleasure show. And yeah, if you're looking for a new vlogger, 
if you're anything like me, you always will be, um, then check her out. I'll link her video up here and put her details in the show notes as well. So yeah, head over and check Romy Kate out. Okay, right, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Uh, let me know if you're going to the Stitch Festival um, and it'd be great if you wanna say hello to me if I see you there. As I say, I'm going on the Saturday. So yeah, please let me know in the comments below if you're gonna be going. And um, I look forward to seeing you there. Uh, if you've liked this video, please click the like, like button. And if you don't subscribe, you know what to do. Subscribe because I want to have you on board. There's still there's still 30% of people that watch my vlogs that don't subscribe. And I don't know why that is. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk lately in the, in the vlogging community that subscribers have been saying they thought they were subscribed to us, but they weren't. So if you think you're subscribed, check. Because a couple of people have told me that they thought they were, but they weren't. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to my channel and you won't get bombarded with emails or anything like that or notifications. It's just, you know, there so I can see what my following is. And uh, obviously the bigger the bigger the subscribers, the more the algorithms get affected and it gets out there to more um, of the sewing community. Okay, that's it. That's all for me for now. I'll see you all soon. Happy sewing. Bye. Mm -hmm.